stuff. It has to provide a lot of other things. For instance, it has to shield mm -hmm. uh, electromagnetic inter interference. Because there's again, there's a lot of electricity in That's here, right. and there's bits and, and atoms floating around, and everything's happening, and you need to keep that all inside. That's right. There's a lot of energy going on inside of here that if we were to let it go out, it would jam your radios and all your wireless right. stuff. And you know, so so that has to be contained. It's got to behave. It's got to behave. We also have to uh, you know provide shielding for the radios. For the radios, right. we actually have to be working as well. So yeah, so it's interesting. A problem you have is like, okay, we have all of the energy in here, which can cause interference. But yeah, we need wireless and we need our controllers to be able to talk to the controllers. So you actually have, I noticed, you mount that outside, That's right. outside, the, outside the container so it's isolated. That's right. And we, we're actually able to utilize the same level of technology that we'd already use in Xbox One S okay. for our Wi-Fi and our accessories radio right. protocols. And so we have two separate radio modules, one for the Wi-Fi, one for the Xbox wireless accessories. Mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit about the hard drive. Yeah. So one of the things about uh, 4K gaming that we realize is that 4K games are going to require a lot more data. Yes, they are. Yeah, higher, higher resolution textures, more of them. Uh, and so to, in order to keep the game loads and game install times reasonable, mm -hmm. we knew we needed more performance out okay. of the hard drive. And so, uh, so, so we end up, so we start off with first, we have to have the right component. Mm -hmm. But then we can't just throw that component into the system mm -hmm. uh, because you know, how the performance behaves in the system can be influenced by a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, for hard drives, particularly vibration. Vibration sure. is the enemy of performance for hard drives. Yep. And so uh, if you look at, our, at the, look at the chassis, the mounting system that we use for the hard drive, uh, we have these little rubber dampers yep. that isolate the hard drive itself from the mechanical sure. chassis. Sure. And so, so that provides isolation from any, anything that might be vibrating, whether it's in the chassis or outside of the chassis. Right. Another thing that we do, if you look at the way we do these wires You're here, actually wiring it in here. I'm actually wiring it in. <laughs> And you look at the cable system and you yep. say, you know, here's this plastic cover right here that says right. hard drive on it. Right. It's not there just to tell you it's a hard drive cable. Right. But actually, the reason for that, for that assembly is to keep the cable itself from touching anything else on the chassis. Right. Because vibrations could be coming through that cable to sure. the hard drive itself. Right. And so that's the kind of, of care that we take so we know that when this thing goes all together, that yeah. it's going to perform in the way that we want it to perform. Right. So now. Uh, talk a little bit about the heat sink. Yeah, this is this is this little guy right here, yeah, big this, guy this, right here. This this not s too small thing that we added to yeah. the motherboard, right? As I told you, this is a very high power processor, mm -hmm. Scorpio engine. Matter of fact, it has the highest heat density of any uh, SOC that we've used in previous designs. Mm -hmm. So this really taxed the, the thermal system design. We had to basically go to a do different level of technology. Um, this is what we went to is we, we use a technology called a vapor chamber. Okay. So vapor chambers are not new, but they've been used in things like uh, servers, sure. high-end systems. But this is the first time we believe that's ever been used in a consumer level product. Okay. Uh, and we're using this technology because that's what it takes to, perform, to deliver this kind of performance in a consumer level. So product. one of the challenges you have here, we talked about all the energy in here and energy equals heat and so on and so forth. But underneath here is where, is where the chip is and that's the right. chip is doing all the heavy lifting, it's doing the thinking and it's it's making heat, and you gotta get rid of that heat. That's right, that's a very important. As a matter of fact, it's not just the, the Scorpio engine, but the memory system itself right. as well, so it makes right. heat. And so what we do, uh, this vapor chamber is actually a copper base. Mm -hmm. it is, it's, it's hollow inside, but it's filled with deionized water. Okay. And then we pull a vacuum on that chamber. So that lowers the boiling point for the water. So now as the water heats up from those electrical components dissipating heat, mm -hmm. that turns into steam inside, okay. inside of the assembly. Right. And that steam then migrates out and transfers the heat to the base of the So you guys take care of all, it's not like I have to go, oh, I gotta add water to my radiator. It's all, it's all an enclosed a, system. Exactly, this is all engineered to, to last the, the life of the product. Right. Right? That's our goal, is to, have, to basically give you a product that you don't have to worry about. You press right. power and you start playing games. That's amazing. Now. In order to get that heat then out of the system, mm -hmm. we have to motivate that air. Okay. So we have a fan. We have a fan, but yeah. it's not just a fan, it's a it's a, a, a ducted centrifugal fan. So <laughs> so we start with modeling the system as a system as early as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And seeing where the air is gonna flow, and we can start working on these designs. So if you look at the ducts and the shrouds and the impellers, so we start with, with the with computational fluid dynamics analysis, and then we start building models. Okay. And then those models, we start refining them, and we start measuring and see how they work. Um, and then that finally iterates to the final design that we end up using. So now you snap this in here, and the, the, the goal is, is that it's going to move air across the vapor chamber, and the warm air uh, is going to exhaust out here. Right, so we're drawing air through the sides, mm -hmm. through the centrifugal fan, then blows it out the back and exhausts the hot air out the back Great. of the chassis. 
So the next part that we're going to talk about is the source of all that power that we're dissipating. Yeah. So obviously we're pulling that power from the wall. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we did with Xbox One S is we went to an internal power supply, which mm -hmm. our customers told us that they loved. Yes, and, they're um, delighted. We agreed. <laughs> and so we made sure that we kept that going in future designs. But, but to be clear, it, we, everybody loves it, but it also it, the reason it, it's difficult is because now you're taking something that was outside that may have created power and, or energy, and, which is heat, and you moved it inside. That's right. So that's that's a challenge. You just made the you just made the challenge a little harder. Yeah. So not only did we have add another piece that we needed to put inside the box, but mm -hmm. another part that generates heat, as you said, and impedes airflow. Mm -hmm. So it does all these things. But how did we react to that? Well, the first thing that we did is we actually built the most efficient power supply we ever made. Okay. Uh, this is this is a this level of efficiency we were able to build into this system is much higher because we don't actually don't have the extra cabling yep. of, the, of the external power supply. Um, and we have you know shorter connections, and so uh, we put all that thought and energy into this, and it drives the overall efficiency of the system mm -hmm. even further. Yep. And one of the things that that we see here is that we actually take some of the air that comes out of the duct is routed through the power supply itself. So hey, you're on your way. Go, go cool off the go cool off the power supply while That's you're right. at it. That's right. So it's multi-use. <laughs> right. So we well, see it just that, snaps right in there. That snaps right in there. <laughs> and so now let's go to the uh, optical drive. Yep. So Xbox One S today is the only game console that uh, is capable of ultra high def uh, Blu-ray playback. 4K HDR. Until Scorpio. Beautiful. Scorpio will now be the second. Yep. <laughs> uh, we just dropped that part so that goes in there. there. So we're able to, to utilize that technology. So you kind of see it coming forward. together in front of your eyes right here. That's right. We're starting to fill up that space. And you can see there's not a lot of extra space No, there's not. Over. I mean, it is, it is packed in there. That's right. Now let's cap it off. So here's the other half of that chassis. Ah. I want to spend a little bit of time because in this part you can see it a little bit more closely. Yeah, look at that. One would say that you know forming metal is something that we've been doing for centuries. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, I would say you know punching metal and drawing forms like this in steel punches probably you know probably dates back to the industrial revolution. Sure. But we found places to innovate here as well. One of the things that the chassis needs to do is uh, shield from EMI. So that means you want your holes to be small. Electromagnetic interference. That's right, electromagnetic interference. Okay. So that means you, at these frequencies that we generate with these high-performance parts are very high, and so the holes need to be as small as possible. Okay. Um, and then, but at the same time, we're trying to move a lot of air through the system to be able to cool it. Yeah. So we want the holes as big as possible. Right. So those two things conflict with each other. So one of the areas where that really came uh, really into conflict was in the exhaust area. Okay. So we look at this area of the, of the fan. This is where all of the air from the inducted fan has to blow out. It's got to go out. We want to we want to maximize the amount of open area there, but mm -hmm. we want to keep the hole small enough to be able to shield the system. Okay. One of the ways that we did that is we wanted to punch the holes very very close together. Okay. We decided, in fact, to punch them so close together that the material between the holes okay. is thinner than the thickness of the material. So let me just say, so that the that little space you see in between the holes is is thinner than. That's right. If, wow. If you looked at it, it looks yeah. like a knife edge this way. Wow. And if you you know. Basically, all of the tooling engineers and mechanical engineers that we talked to before we did this mm -hmm. said that we shouldn't even try to do this. Yeah. It was that hard. But you guys did it. But we, we worked at it. Yeah. We have some, some fantastic tooling engineers, and they love a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and now we have punched holes. These are punched holes, not laser cut holes. Right. If you laser cut these, it would be easy. Sure. But you can't do that in production very easily. Sure. But we actually punch these holes mechanically, and they are perfectly flat and aligned. So that will go right on top of your notice how, again, notice how there's just not a lot of space in there. And every single, every single millimeter is optimized and you, you, the engineers have to go through here and figure out where to put things, how to put things, how they sit next to each other, how much energy they're creating, any interference, no you can't. This is, this is extraordinary. You're, ne you're never going to look at a piece of electronics the same way ever again. That's right. <laughs> so now I'll turn it a little bit and we'll start, and we can now see that this is actually the completed yeah. structure. Yep. Um, and that's that's the rear. So it back and there. You see, I actually have it. I have it right now. I have it upside down yep. for a reason because I'm now going to start snapping on the, the, the plastic parts that you actually see. Yep. So the first step is to put in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Snap it in place. And I will just flip it over here, and we have our top. Kind of goes down there. And there you have it. Slides in. So this is this is this is it. This is what people will see. This is what people will see. Well, this is Leo. I really appreciate you walking us through. And this is the first look at Scorpio and what it looks like inside and how great it looks outside. And hopefully you'll appreciate a little bit of what Leo and his team have gone through, which has been an extraordinary effort to create the most powerful gaming console ever. Leo, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. 
love giving things away. I have one of these in my woman cave. Hello and welcome to Xbox Daily, live at E3 2017. Definitely Terry always brings his 11. He's so intense that when he was flexing and doing all that in the suit, he kept breaking it. That's an interesting exactly. wardrobe challenge. <laughs> it's good to see you both. Every <laughs> time I see you, you have a different shirt. I got six teraflops, Larry. This is the engine. One question I would ask anybody from the Xbox team would be, when is Cuphead? coming out. Oh, my favorite question, <laughs> September 29th. And now I have a very, very special guest, a man who isn't afraid of jarring color combinations. It's Larry. 7.5 <laughs> billion, that's with a B, controller wow. combination. Well, I am here with the creators of Beloved Indie Ori and the Blind Forest. We've got Thomas and Gennady. We're organizing for a revolution in America. Pirates, plunder, and my personal favorite. I was somebody touched my booty. So we have 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory in the console, and we have as much memory for games as any other system has in total. Everything you own right out of the gate is going to look and play better than what you've had before. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye everyone. Yeah. See you later. Daily Live at E3, it's day two of our yes. epic E3 coverage. The show floor is open and it's flooded with industry insiders, media, and fans! Yeah. Hold on a minute, Larry's been put in the corner on the floor. My God, it's crazy out here. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm good. Two amazing sleds, 4K curb blast, yeah. hydraulic sleds. Showing off ultra high definition thanks to the power of the Xbox One X. It's a monster. Pick one. You have I, to pick I, one. I, I can't. You have to. You have to. Pressure. I can't, pick, I can't pick amongst the children. You know how that ends. I will say the one bummer about permadeath is being torn in half looks fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so Billy is like an old school, original, like supernatural assassin badass. That's the, the nature of her. Billy's out to kill some people. Especially on, uh, you know, on Xbox One X. Um, you know, two hours after we got the dev kit, it was running at 4K 60 FPS. That thing's very powerful. And they brought us an exclusive announcement trailer. So gaming for everyone at its root is all about making Xbox a place where everyone, everyone feels welcome and has fun. When you make that jump to 4K, it's undeniable. It is not a thing where you need them side by side or anything like that. You can absolutely tell the difference. Stop showing off. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is my game. As we mentioned at the top of the show that those of you watching on Mixer would be eligible for some free goodies, and we've got one goodie that's kind of a big deal. Each day of E3, one person watching on Mixer is getting a free Samsung QLED 4K TV! And because we're givers, we're also giving away a Samsung 4K TV to a fan here at E3 right now. And the winner is Caesar Pellerino from New York. Caesar, come on, get your This is only the beginning. <laughs> we have so much more for you all week long.